They might be freshly on the outs right now, but back in 2019, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval agreed on one thing when it came to purchasing their soon-to-be Los Angeles love pad. Place needed to have a wow factor. These former West Hollywood bartenders turned veteran reality TV stars decided to wisely save up their money following pairing off with one another while starring in the popular Bravo series Vanderpump Rules. In fact, this former duo saved so much so fast, they were able to shell out just over $2 million for a newly built family-sized farmhouse-style residence situated in the increasingly pricey neighborhood of Valley Village. Boasting five bedrooms as well as five and a half baths, this 4,453 square foot home offered its new owners plenty of room to share with their famously hard partying castmates and co-workers from the popular West Hollywood eatery, Sir. Set into a shallow porch located next to a two-car garage, the front door to Ariana's home boasts a rib glass accented front door that opens directly into an open concept living and dining room boasting 10 foot tall ceilings, honey colored wide plank wood floors, a petite fireplace, and an accent wall that was originally painted in a dark shade of charcoal. As for their kitchen, it was designed with a kosher diet in mind, which means it boasts three sinks, two dishwashers, and two ovens, alongside a marble-topped center island snack bar. On the opposite side of the setting is a family room with stacked stone fireplace situated between some built-in open shelves. Meanwhile, a 16-foot wide bank of floor-to-ceiling glass sliders slip into the nearby wall to merge the expansive space with the backyard. In addition, there's also a small office as well as an ensuite guest bedroom located on the main floor. The rest of the bedrooms and private bathrooms that boast snazzy custom tile all live on the top floor, along with the master suite. This is made up of a spacious bedroom with a fireplace, a lavish marble bathroom boasting a hair and makeup vanity, as well as two two fitted walk-in closets, perfect for a couple that no doubt considered themselves to be the definition of fashionable. Completing the picture is a partly trellis-covered graystone patio that stretches across the full width of the back of the house, while overlooking a flat, grassy, private yard with a built-in grilling station and a swimming pool. After moving into their home in 2019, about two years later, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval graciously invited People Magazine inside for an exclusive look at their newly decorated decorated masterpiece where they managed to incorporate both of their opposing styles with a little bit of help. Tom told BravoTV.com, I feel like normally when it comes to decor in a house with a guy and a girl, it can be very like, okay, the girl just kind of does everything. The guy is like, I just added this one thing. But we obviously both have very strong personalities. You see a nice mix of Ariana and myself in there. To bring their vision of a serene paradise to life, Ariana and Tom teamed up with interior designers Lucy Cinda Pace and Andrew Panzer of Concept XL, as well as exterior designer Elizabeth Montgomery of Box Hill. After discussing plans with both homeowners, the designers quickly figured out that Tom's style is a lot swankier and in desperate need of that wow factor. Meanwhile, Ariana's taste is a bit more subtle, with her gravitating towards an organic, eclectic vibe. That isn't to say these two couldn't find anything to agree on, and a few eye-catching items sprinkled throughout their home became common. Common ground. For instance, the couple owns a giant Timothy Olton mirror that has crystals that go all around it, giving the effect of an infinity mirror. Both Ariana and Tom love to stare into its never-ending glossy abyss. The couple also bonded over replacing their former light fixture over the dining room table with what appears to be a giant piece of chain link instead. They even installed some unusual snake curtains in here as well. Turns out Ariana is a big fan of the kind of drawings of plants and animals that appear in encyclopedias. To her, those curtains embody that. She explained to People, this fabric was like a combination of that nature drawing look with almost a Gucci feel. It was really hard to get this fabric and then we had to have someone make it into curtains for us. It took forever, but there was nothing that compared to it. Well, to complete the look, the couple had to settle on which table best served the space. Tom had an out of right field type idea, but Ariana wound up getting her way with a restoration hardware table that provided a minimalist counterpoint to what's otherwise a house leaning towards being maximalist. They're also happy with their choice of breakfast table, buying an oval shaped one that's been paired with black and gold chairs. 
But for decor, Tom chose to display a series of bizarre items, including a cannibal fork, an emu egg, penis flutes, and a saber-toothed cat skull that Ariana was not a fan of. As they bickered with one another, another unexpected item of Tom's drove Ariana crazy more than any other, a painting of actor James Earl Jones. Yes, the man who provides the voice of Darth Vader in Star Wars. At the very least, these two both appear to love their bedroom, the one space in the entire house where Ariana says she spends the most of her time, and who can blame her? It features a custom-made latte bar equipped with an espresso machine and milk frother that Tom would put to work every morning to make coffee for Ariana. As another little treat, Tom also came up with the idea to provide more closet space for them by knocking down a wall between their bedroom's closet and the separate linen closet to create the ultimate dream wardrobe. Once they had their house looking the way they wanted it, Ariana and Tom planned on inserting a few more additions, including more plants and a bar hidden behind a moving bookcase. Tom described this idea to people, telling them, You'll pull a book and it'll open up. Then the bar will feel like you left and went to a different place. They also drew up plans for a gate and exterior entrance door, but before they could complete any of that, everything fell apart instead. Ariana Maddox and her partner Tom split apart four years after moving in together, following his secret affair with their fellow co-star Raquel Levis. Tom and Raquel were allegedly planning on telling Ariana the truth for weeks about their months-long affair, but instead, the heartbroken reality star found out on her own by snooping through Tom's phone. Once she discovered what he had been keeping from her, the pair split. But, and this is a big but, but they're still living together and sharing the same house, even though tensions between the two remain thick. Tom spoke about what was going on in his personal life during an episode of Howie Mandel Does Stuff. During the course of that podcast, he revealed he's still living with Ariana because he can't afford to move out and doesn't have any friends he can stay with right now. Taking into consideration the fact that it's a pretty big house, Tom doesn't see a problem with this arrangement. The former couple has also enlisted an mediator as a go-between. The former couple also enlisted a mediator as a go-between to use when they want to communicate with one another. That being said, many of Ariana's friends aren't thrilled with this turn of events and want to see Tom vacate the premises immediately. Former Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Dutz even tried to create space between the two of them, but Tom was adamant about staying in the home. Bottom line, these two both share ownership of the house, which means what happens next with the property is bound to take some time to sort out. But hey, at least we'll get a taste of what's going on behind closed doors when footage from this nasty breakup finally hits our TV screens during season 10 of Vanderpump Rules, which is airing right now. In the meantime, Ariana and Tom are going to have to continue surviving some very awkward moments. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching, and before you head off, do me a favor and answer this question. What's the maximum amount of time you could live under one roof with a partner you just separated from? Let me know if you could even last a week in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name's Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and if you'd like to check out a few more homes today, then keep watching, because coming up, We'll look at the properties of Millie Bobby Brown. I'll see you all next time. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Actress Millie Bobby Brown has gone from little known child actor to a worldwide superstar in a short period of time, thanks to her performance as Eleven in the mega hit Netflix series Stranger Things. In fact, despite just recently getting engaged to John Bon Jovi's son, Jake Bon Jovi, Millie is still just a teen, something Ariana Grande was only too eager to remind her of on social media underneath a post in which Millie gushed over her new partner. Millie and Jake have been dating for close to two years now, and they frequently pop up on each other's social media where they share a sampling of their personal time together with their millions of fans, like decorating Millie's Christmas tree a few months ago at the end of last year. At only 19 years old, Millie is already successful enough to be living in a home in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia that her acting career paid for. But before I take you deeper into this impressive abode, I want to walk you through the series of family moves that brought Millie to where she is today. Born in Andalusia, Spain, Millie moved with her family when she was just an infant to Bournemouth, England, where she grew up for a few more years before flying across the Atlantic Ocean to live in Orlando, Florida. It was while living there at the age of 
nine years old that Millie began auditioning for roles as an actress, eventually landing the role of Eleven on Stranger Things and becoming a global superstar in the process. Following this massive change in fortune, Millie and her family moved from Orlando to Atlanta, Georgia, so that they could be close to her Stranger Things shoots. Once there, Millie found a house where she could live with her father, Robert Brown, a real estate agent, ironically enough, as well as her mother, Kelly, a homemaker. Millie also has two older siblings, Charlie and Paige, as well as a younger sister, Ava, who live with her too. Over the last few years, this one big happy family has greatly enjoyed life in Atlanta. So let's take a closer look at their home base. For starters, the entrance of Millie Bobby Brown's residence boasts a double ceiling along with a staircase to the left. This area of the home appears to be painted in neutral shades of beige, and the stairs are all carpet. During special holidays like Christmas, Millie likes to hang ornaments and festive decorations all along the banister of the staircase, while also carving out a specially designated area for real showstoppers like her Christmas tree, which her fiance Jake helped her set up this year with matching M and J ornaments hanging front and center. Millie has also snapped a few candid pics in this room with other members of her family as well. Like that time that they all dressed up in matching Christmas PJs for one big group photo. Over in the home's expansive living room, Millie can look out of arched windows that allow for an ample amount of sunlight. There's also an electric fireplace, a wall mounted flat screen TV, and a white couch that matches the cream colored paint job in this room as well. When Millie shows off images of this space, more more often than not, it involves her pets. And while Millie hasn't gone out of her way to show off her home's kitchen, it's expected that it's both large and partnered with a killer dining space to accommodate not only her already large family, but her legion of new famous friends as well. When it comes to her bedroom, Millie has made sure to turn it into an elegant retreat that features both a ton of gray and white furnishings styled with a modern touch. Since Millie's courier helped pay for this home, she's got an ensuite bathroom of her very own as well. Of course, no celebrity home is complete without an amazing backyard and she's got that too thanks to her ample open space surrounded by the white picket fence. Over on Instagram you'll often find Millie sharing videos and photos of herself playing with her pets on sunny days outside in Atlanta and her lush well manicured backyard is the perfect place to do so. When not in Georgia Millie lives in a rental unit in Los Angeles whenever she's in town for meetings or to record a new movie. She can also sometimes be spotted returning to England to visit her extended family, but for the next few months until Stranger Things finally comes to an end, she'll continue to call Atlanta home. Speaking of Stranger Things, I thought I'd throw in a treat for all the super fans of that show. During the highly anticipated fourth season of the Netflix smash hit, the storyline was ambitiously split into three distinct locales, with Eleven and most members of the Byers family being relocated to a fictional California town known as Lenora Hills, consisting of wide open streets and gorgeous mountain ranges that resemble the setting to another popular sci-fi hit, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. As you might have already guessed, that resemblance was by design. But instead of shooting in the Tahunga foothills, which is where the 1982 film classic was filmed, Stranger Things set up shop in New Mexico, more specifically in Albuquerque. The split level brick and stucco traditional that Joyce Byers and her family end up moving into was originally going to be constructed as a set. But once the production crew discovered an actual house that they could use practically, it was decided to use that location to make sure it felt like the family was living in a real neighborhood. The crew found exactly what they were looking for in Albuquerque's Glenwood Hills community. Situated on a spacious lot dotted with mature pines and overlooking the picturesque Sandia Mountains, this home became the perfect embodiment of the ET-esque suburb aesthetic that the team was looking to pull off. Initially built in 1966, this home's interior is full of original era details like popcorn ceilings, wood panels, analog thermostats, floor to ceiling fireplaces, and a 
whole host of built-ins, like a maple hutch that spans the entire length of the dining room. In fact, the place was so perfect that outside of some carpet and a new paint job, the crew hardly had to change anything at all. It reportedly took about a month to ready this location for the shoot, and once the actors arrived, it took about nine days to film everything. When filming wrapped, it took another month to reset the house to exactly as it was when the crew moved in. But the house still remains largely recognizable from its close up on the screen, which is actually a good thing for the home's owners because they recently listed this house as an Airbnb to capitalize on the show's success. That's right, if you ever wanted to live in Eleven's home away from home, you can do so right now for the price of $400 a night. For all that money, you'll get access to the home's four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and its spacious 4,350 square feet, which is plenty of room to act out some of your favorite Stranger Things moments on your own or with a group of friends. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Thank you so much for watching. And before you head out for the day, consider answering the following question. If you were a teenage actor who could theoretically be financially independent on their own, would you live with your family or by yourself? Let me know if you'd stick close to mom, pop, and your siblings like Millie has in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a drop. My name is Kara. If you enjoyed this look into the homes of Millie Bobby Brown, then stay tuned because coming up, we're visiting the homes of her co-star Winona Ryder. Bye. Low-key actress and Hollywood veteran Winona Ryder had made real estate news in 2020 when she put her San Francisco home on the market for $5 million. While she owned the Dutch Colonial Beauty for 25 years, it reportedly wasn't her main residence and she'd rented it out of it as well. It said that Winona still owns her longtime residences in Beverly Hills and New York City, which were once upon a time featured in Architectural Digest. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Winona Ryder is an actress who's received many awards over her long running career including a Golden Globe and has been nominated for two Academy Awards as well. She is well known for taking on quirky roles in her early films while moving to more prominent roles in the 90s. Over the late 80s and 90s, Winona would star in a handful of hit movies from Edward Scissorhands to Girl Interrupted to Dracula and many more. In the early 2000s, the actress took a break from films, returning in 2009 for the Star Trek movie and more recently, her popular role on the series Stranger Things. It said that her net worth at the time is somewhere around $18 million, which has afforded Winona some beautiful and comfortable homes over the last couple of decades. This includes one or two beautiful villas in Los Angeles, a lavish apartment in New York City, and her former San Francisco abode. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. 